Hello, I'm Jo Hodinot, Academic Director of Bellevue's Oxford, and I'm with the Principal, Julia Southby. Before we give you some information about our fabulous new centre, we'd like you to come with us on a walk around Oxford. Hi, welcome to Oxford, the city famous worldwide for academic excellence. My name is Julia Southby and I'm the principal at Bellaby's College. Our new purpose-built, state-of-the-art Bellaby's College Study Centre is located in the heart of Oxford, a beautiful and peaceful riverside setting, and it's only minutes' walk from everything which makes Oxford a fabulous destination for students. Our teaching has always led the way in the use of learning technologies. Interactive whiteboards are used throughout all of our network classrooms. We've recently launched StudySmart, our learning management system, which gives students online access to resources 24-7. As well as that, our facilities are going to include three fully equipped science laboratories, three state-of-the-art IT classrooms, a glass-walled art studio overlooking the Thames, ample space for parking bicycles, five minutes walk from Oxford Mainline Station, and only a ten-minute walk from Oxford City Centre. And of course, our classes are small, so students get individual attention from our excellent teachers. Oxford is home to the highest rank a university in the UK and one of the world's most prestigious. When you walk around, you breathe the atmosphere of learning and discovery. If you decide to come to Bellaby's College, Oxford, we've got a great selection of accommodation that you can choose from. Maybe one of our residences, which are located around town, one of which is just behind me here. Or maybe you want to immerse yourself in British culture and choose one of our wonderful homestays. For every student, we've got 24-hour support, so you will be well looked after. Um, so tell me, what's, what's accommodation like in Oxford? The room is quite big, spacious, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a bathroom in it, and everything is well and clean. Is the bathroom just for you? Yeah, the bathroom is just for me inside mm -hmm. the room. And uh, I met a lot of friends from Russia and then uh, Uzbekistan, Iranian and the Chinese as well, we talk to each other. So uh, it's very good to stay in the residence because of the exchange in culture. Uh, my host family is very, very supporting me because at the first time when I, when I, when I come here, mm -hmm. it's, I can't speak even one sentence, one English sentence yeah. in full, but they help me very much. Oh, that's yeah. great, that's great. Life at Bellaby's in Oxford will give you the best of both worlds, the old and the new, the contemporary and the historic. You have a student city full of vibrancy and a sense of real academia. Mo, tell me what do you do. When you're not studying hard, what do you do? How do you enjoy Oxford? Everywhere around Oxford has a lot of history behind it. It's kind of a good feeling walking around Oxford knowing that, you know, like 100 years back, pioneers, professors that changed the world today have yeah. walked the same streets. Well, uh, I recently joined the um, Just Society, Oxford University Just Society. Oh, great. Yeah, they play hilarious music. Yeah. I absolutely enjoy it. I think the social life here is yeah. perfect, yeah. Bellaby's College is renowned for the excellence of its students' results. For the last 50 years, we've helped students from all over the world take the path to outstanding success at universities and beyond. Last year alone, a quarter of our students graduated to the top 10 UK universities. If you want excellence in your studies, Bellaby's College is a great place to start. I hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of Oxford and found it useful, and I really look forward to welcoming you to our new study centre. We're planning on opening our doors for the first time in the new Oxford Study Centre this September. 
yes, it's a challenge, but we're very confident we're going to be able to open our doors and welcome our new students. We've got 26 classrooms, three computer rooms, three science labs, one gorgeous art room with fantastic views. And with that, we're going to have an increased capacity which can take us up to about 550 students. Um, in that space, of course, that means we're going to be able to offer a much broader division of uh, academic programmes. That's right. I'm really looking forward to expanding what we offer in Oxford. We'll continue to offer all of the foundation programmes, the humanities, the art and design, engineering, and, of course, the most popular business. Uh, our A-level programme should enable us to offer just about any combination a student might want. The GCSE provision uh, includes, at the moment, English, maths, IT, and at least one science. And again, with the increased space, increased number of students, we'll be able to offer further provision. And the English language programme, of course, will continue to support all of the academic programmes. We're, we're simply looking forward to moving to a fabulous new building by the river. Even the design of the school is created to make us visible to our students. My office is surrounded by classrooms. Joe's office is opposite the science labs. We want our students to be able to see us when they need us. We will have fantastic learning technology in our new study centre. Every classroom is networked with an interactive whiteboard and StudySmart, our learning management system, will be available for students online 24-7. One new advantage of our study centre is we're going to open a cafeteria. This is new to the Oxford campus. We'll be able to offer all of our students a hot lunch, catering for all of our different nationalities, of course, and we're going to have an all-day provision for snacks and drinks. We have a variety of options for residents in Oxford. Our year-round residences are located only 25 minutes walk from our new study centre or an easy 15 minutes bicycle ride. We have, however, a very exciting project. We've got a new residence opening in spring next year. That's going to be 58 brand new single rooms, private bathroom, and we're going to increase our provision for our under 18s, which means we can look after the 14, 15, 16 and 17 year olds, very close to the school, with great meals in a nice environment. Alternatively, you could choose one of our wonderful homestays. We've got a variety of different types of families who live all over the city and can offer you a wonderful British cultural experience. Well, students in Oxford can bring their own hobbies or try out new things when they come to us. We have a college magazine, uh, a debating society runs every fortnight, uh, we have chess club and other games, uh, sport is important, uh, again we can accommodate more or less any sport but ones that run every year are football, badminton, basketball. We're very proud of our experienced and well-qualified staff in Oxford. For example, two-thirds of our science department have got PhDs from Oxford. We also have a hand-picked team of tutors who love working with young people and actually relish helping them realise their dreams. Some of the more unusual ones are pilot studies, uh, every branch of engineering. I'm particularly delighted that a couple of students right now are studying chemistry, which is my own background. We're very proud of what we're doing in Oxford. The students get fabulous results. Ofsted, the government body, has recognised that our students are enjoying and achieving to an outstanding level. This new centre is going to give us an opportunity to do what we do now better and better.